Who is it? Is somebody in here about to go over 100 miles an hour with a quadcopter? Because that's not allowed under Part 107, and there could be serious, serious penalties if that were to happen, so... No, that would be totally illegal. Like, the guy told me that when he flew it, he went like 150, 160 miles an hour. I, I'm unable to confirm or deny whether that happened when I flew it. where it seemed like somebody was about to go over 100 miles an hour. All right, you guys, so you know how sometimes when you're at a park and you hear some quadcopter off in the distance and you go, hey, somebody's flying a quadcopter. Well, that's what happened to me today. And um, the fellow who's flying the quadcopter has built a pretty freaking extreme quadcopter. Um, he's a little bit shy and he doesn't want to be on camera, but he said he talked to me about it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me, JB. Appreciate for sure, it. man. So this quadcopter that we're flying has 2,700 kV motors on 6S. That's right. And you told me it goes how fast? Um, fastest clock GPS was 162 miles an hour, so 240 or 262 kilometers an hour, I think is what's registered. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane, dude. Well, I mean, the light's starting to go down, and I don't want to run out of time, so I'm going to love to talk to you about the, what it took to get that, but I would really like to just see it fly. So can we, can we you know, do some poles? Sure. Let's do Sweet, it. Sweet, man. You got GPS? Yeah, you do. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna see it for real. <clears throat> Dude. <laughs> How much up till you running? You have any idea? Uh I don't. It's practically straight up. Yep, yep. Hundred and ninety kilometers an hour I saw there. Yeah, the um the fastest run I had was with a different set of props. Oh yeah. Yeah, APCs. Mm -hmm. 195k and climbing. Oh, 204k. <laughs> it's just a little it's not that hot. No, it's not. It's really not that hot. It's pretty cool. It's warm but not not hot. So how'd you deal with the uh, how'd you deal with the desyncs? Um, adjustments in ESC and uh, BL Heli. Um, D mag? Uh, D mag set to high. Okay. And then uh, we also hit, pushed it to uh, 48. 48K. Uh, 48K. Mm -hmm. And then uh, all the other settings are. Timing? You change the timing? Timing is at 20. Okay. One of the things I, I one of the things I noticed when you said you were going for high speed was that you it basically just looks like a quad. That's right. So the intent or the the reason behind that was because I still wanted a quadcopter I could fly around as a regular quadcopter. Mm -hmm. But yet when I gave it full throttle, <laughs> she would take off at a hundred plus miles an hour. So mm -hmm. just to get that adrenaline rush going, yeah, you know, change it up a little bit. So. Yeah, we're <laughs> switch this pack out. So um, we got Willy Motors. We got uh, we got what's your frame? The uh, frame is a Lumineer Chief. Lumineer Chief frame. A uh, ESC T motor. We said that. T motor. Uh, flight F55. controller. Flight. Con the flight controller is a uh, Lumineer Lux. Um, beta flight. Beta running beta flight. Okay. Uh, motors are the Willy motors. Did you and, and you said the 2700 kV? Did you tune it yourself? Because I mean, I don't think that's stock pids. No, it is not. So, a uh, little help from Steel. Um, you, you hit up Steel and he helped you tune it. He gave yeah, you some tips. You got it. Damn. So, it really uh, flies well with his. With I didn't know he pitch. knew how to tune Beta Flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, are you. Know, he's, um, he's pretty good. So, your current speed record is. 160 ish miles an hour that's right um, you got you got video of that on your youtube channel actually um i'll put a link to your channel down there i feel like that's the least i All could right. do for let me fly your quad I really appreciate everybody, it thank you everybody can check that out um two six, 160 miles an hour is about what the drl record is and they hit 10s to just to get there you're doing it on 6s maybe just i don't know maybe the equipment's just come that far i mean yeah i don't um I haven't looked at their uh, their hardware setup. Okay. 
But uh, yeah, it was a few years ago. I think their record's probably three or four years old now. So where are you planning to go next with this? You gonna what's the what sky's the limit? What's the next step? Sky is the limit. I would love to because I want to keep the quad as stock as possible. So I, I'm trying to retain the flyability and also the form factor of the the, the quad as much as possible. But uh, I'd love to break the world record, or at least that world record. The 160. The 160. Yeah. Neat. So. Neat. I think it's a really cool idea. Um, um, to build it reminds me of the original days of stock car racing back when stock cars really were stock cars Yeah, building not just a purpose-built top speed quad, but like just building a quad you can freestyle and um, And make it go as fast as freaking possible. Okay, so that was gonna be the whole video But then this came in the mail I have no idea it's just showed up in the, literally just showed up in a box in the mail. This is not the exact same quadcopter that we were flying. Like for example, the heat, we were flying the Lumineer Chief and Willy motors. This is the uh, Evan Turner's 533 frame. I'll put a, we'll go over the parts in a minute, but I assume it's like the latest rendition of it. It, in, it includes some of these. These are the APC props he was talking about that have higher top speed. We were flying, I don't even remember what we were flying. So thank you, anonymous dude who sent me a freaking quadcopter. So the frame is the Evan Turner uh, Project 533 frame. It's a great racing frame. Uh, links to all the stuff in the video description. There is a gigantic 50 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor on the back. Uh, that's to protect the ESC from the, oh my God. Is that right? Oh, Jesus Christ. From the 2700 KV, F60 motors, 2700 kV. And just to be clear, you can fly this on 4S, but we're gonna fly it on 6S. 6S, 2700 kV with no throttle limit. So what ESC could possibly take all that abuse? It is the, uh, I've checked already, you can't, it's a little hard for you to see, but it's the T-Motor F55A, one of the most robust ESCs on the market today. And the flight controller is the Lumineer uh, Lux F7. So I guess we have to go fly it now. So let's do it. Okay, here we go. Armed, got the props on right. DVR is recording, taking off. Oh, the up tilt is not so bad, actually. The up tilt's not so bad, that's not so bad. Let's, um, I mean, like, if I hit the throttle, is it just gonna light on fire? <laughs> guess not. This isn't so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, how fast was it going? I couldn't even see. Let's do another shot in here in the... It's only getting up to 102K here, but we don't hardly have enough room to really open it up. I mean, it just flies, wow. It's, how is it? It's surprisingly smooth, hang on. Where's the, little oscillation there, we're a little warble. Where's the prop wash? Maybe it's these two blade props, I don't know. Oh yeah, the up tilt is definitely throwing me off a little bit. See, this is, this is surprisingly flyable. I gotta say, the up tilt is throwing me off a little bit, so I don't feel 100% confident, but it's... It really gets on the throttle. I only have one set of these props, so I don't want to break them. Holy crap, this is fun. Oh my God. Like, oh wow. Like you just touch the throttle and it goes, it goes. Oh man, wow, 6S2700 kV, battery life is not 
not good. I, mean, I think I'm at 363. I got to move the OSD. This is how he has the OSD set up. This is how he shipped it. So I got to move the OSD so I can read the battery. 22.1 is not a big deal, though. That was pretty exciting. I got another battery here. Let me put another pack on, and we're going to do another speed run. It flies surprisingly normal for something so ridiculous. Okay. Low battery, 3.5 volts. Well, my, battery, my batteries are struggling to keep up with this. I should go towards this field, so if I crash, I just go into the field. <sighs> can definitely tell the ESC is struggling. Okay, we got some hitching. I mean, I'm amazed the ESC hasn't fried itself. All right, I don't know how fast those were. We're gonna just finish this pack with a little bit of flying, but. Oh, my hands are shaking. Wow. Whoever you are, this is really a thank you. This is really a great gift. I would never have built one of these for myself, but it's so stupid how much pop you can get. 3.83, the battery's holding on as long as you don't just get in the throttle and stay there. This is clearly not a freestyle. Ooh, oh wow, I almost hit that post. This is clearly not a freestyle. I mean, you can freestyle it, don't get me wrong. Maybe a GoPro would go on top, but obviously it's a racing quad. So much power. 3.78. Those shutters at full throttle don't, like, I don't love that. I think that eventually one of those ends with a, uh, with a smoked DSC or smoked motor and you're in the dirt. Like in case you're sitting there going, well, this is a great idea. Why don't more people do this? It's because the odds of just smoking it, things are so much higher. Look how fast it pops up. Oh my God. Oh my God. 3.76, still holding in there. This is a 1500 milliamp hour 6S. That's not, I'm not gonna try it. I'm not gonna wreck the props. These are um, APC two blade props. I don't have any more of them. So I don't wanna wreck one and not be able to do speed runs. I bet it would fly good on three blades. Do we have an amp reading? We do. I wonder what the amp reading was like on those pops. This thing flies great, man. You know what? Racing rigs fly so good. Freestyle pilots, what are you doing, dudes? Race rigs fly so good. Freestyle pilots should just build race rigs. This is stupid. Uh, yeah, this is, this is just flying so good. 3.73, still got plenty of battery left as long as we don't. Let's go faster. As long as we don't just jam the throttle and kill it. just changes direction like on a dime. Just changes direction on a dime. Oh my goodness, I wanna fly this, oh my gosh. I wanna keep flying this. This is, I thought this was just gonna be like a novelty. I'm sure if I owned it on a daily, I do own it, on a daily basis and had to buy replacement ESCs for it when I smoked them, which I know I'm going to. I would not be so happy. Okay, low battery. Finally got a low battery at 3.5. And because 6S is the way it is, that means we just gotta bring it right in. The 6S gives you no flipping warning. 3.45, you got nothing left when 6S starts shouting low battery at you. This battery's done. OMG, guys. Well, that's gonna do it. Like I said, I'm not gonna hold this up in front of my face and record voice uh, video for it. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna, gonna hi, here I am. Ah, bye guys, that was, that was something. Parts list in the video description if you're dumb enough to build one of these. Be my freaking guest. Thank you 
to whoever you are. Thank you. This was really a treat. This was really, this is the kind of thing you say, what do you get for the guy who has everything? Well, something he would have thought was dumb and pointless and actually is really freaking fun. So, happy flying, you guys. You'll be seeing more of this guy on my channel. You better believe it.